welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I am coming to you with something a little bit different um, and something super fun. So as you can see from the title, <laughs> this is um, a video about my favorite planner accessories. I do get asked quite a bit um, about the like pens that I prefer for the planner that I use, um, markers, sticky notes, uh, tabs, different things like that. So I decided to go ahead and put a video together of my top favorites. Also at the end of this video, I'm going to be doing a giveaway for some of my favorite um, planner accessories. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so let's start with pens. Uh, I kind of have an assortment here, um, pens and markers are the first ones that I am going to talk about. So I do have a really good variety of um, pens and markers in my collection that I use um, pretty much on a daily basis. So we'll just kind of go through these real quick. Um, this one here is the UniJet Stream. It has um, the different colored inks, black, blue, green, and red. And then this one is a pencil which I really love having um, all of that in one um, pen. It's really handy. So I use this one a lot. Uh, whenever I wanna use something pretty and fancy, I reach for my Villa Beautiful crystal pens and these are absolutely stunning. Um, let me get you up close here real quick. So you can see that there, kinda got a glare there from the the window, but you can see that. Her pens are a 0.5 gel ink, and they are, they're just stunning. She has them in all different colors. Um, one thing I did forget to mention is that I will put the links for all of these items below in the description box, and um, definitely let me know if you have any questions too. So um, I'm more than willing to answer questions, just let me know. All right, so. We've got my workhorse pen here. <laughs> this is my fancy pen. Uh, then I have a couple more that are pretty basic uh, that I, you know, also, but um, they are staples. So I love the Micron pens. This one is the 03. That's between this one and the 05. I use those a lot. So I make sure to always have those on hand. Then this is the Sakura Microperm. If you see that there in the 03 also this I love to use on um, any kind of stickers that have like that slick um, feeling to them uh, or like page flags that are also that uh, just that slicker material where regular pens won't write on them they'll smear this one will write on anything so I love it <laughs> uh, the next thing next pen here is the Sharpie S gel. This one is in um, 0.7. There you can see that. It's a gel pen and I really like it as well. I love how it writes and I prefer the 0.7 in this one. I'm, I'm, I really vary between the sizes of the um, pens. It just really depends on the pen honestly. So uh, but I do prefer the 0.7 in this one. I think they have a point, I know they have a 0.5 and I believe they have a 0.3 as well, so. Okay, so that's it for the writing utensils specifically. Okay, so now let's talk about um, markers and uh, fine liners. So my favorite, my go-to markers are the mild liners, the zebra mild liners. This one is in the darker gray color. I love it because it doesn't, uh, pull blue. You know how some of the gray markers, they can tend to look blue. This one does not do that. So mild liners, uh, and I just have the chisel tip and then the fine tip on the end of these. I do have the um, brush tip pens on my uh, wish list, but I have not gotten them yet. So these are my go-to for markers. Then for fine liners, I have um, a couple that I love. This one here is the Stetler Fine Liner, and it's just in a dark gray. Then I love these two. Um, these are the Arteza, Arteza Inconic, 
in the 0.4 and I have um, a whole set of these. They have a lot of colors too. Let me grab a couple more here. So there you can kind of see some of the other colors that they have. It's a huge set and there's like every single color you could ever want. So very handy. Okay, so those wrap up my pen and marker favorites. The next thing that um, I have on my favorites list is a laminator. So I wanna make some room here because my laminator is huge. Um, grab it here. This is the one that I use. It's the Scotch brand, the Anti-Jam. And uh, I love this. I recently just got this. I had um, another Scotch uh, laminator that I'd had for oh, seven years. And it just was starting to kind of crumple up the laminating sheets and just not laminate it as well as it used to. So I went ahead and got this one. I picked up this one from Amazon. Um, they do sell it at Walmart, but it was cheaper on Amazon, like by $15 or something. So I just went ahead and grabbed that and I love it. It's, it's a, it's a workhorse. So this is my favorite laminator. <laughs> so, okay. So we've talked about pens, talked about laminator. Uh, the next thing that is on my favorites list is a corner rounder. And this is the one that I have. I'll show you the name there. And I also got it on Amazon. Uh, we live in a rural area. And so we don't have a lot of access to craft stores and things like that. So Unfortunately, I do have to order from Amazon uh, for some of these items. Um, so this one has three different, uh, let me kind of see that there. Three different, you've got a small, medium, and then the large, let me get that there on this side, uh, so that it will give different shapes. So whatever um, kind of corner that you're looking for, I liked this one the best because it did offer the different uh, shapes of corner rounding. Um, punches so all in one and it's very lightweight it's very easy to empty you just take this plastic backing off and just dump it out so very handy so that is number three on my favorites list okay so the next thing on my list grab it here is my paper cutter you need a good paper cutter <laughs> if you're going to um, like print any inserts or make dashboards or anything like this. It's so huge, I can't even get it in the picture. But let me turn it sideways. This is the Fiskars Rotary Cutter, and I love it because of the size of it. When I need to cut down papers that are 12 by 12, um, and I like the rotary style. Uh, I used to have one that just had the blade that you push up and down. Um, similar to this, except it was just a blade and not the rotary. And uh, I just feel like the rotary cuts better. I don't know. Uh, it does have this arm that swings out here. And like I said, this is the Fiskars brand. Let's see if you can see that there up in the corner. Uh, and I do have a smaller one on my wish list that um, is like six inches. Uh, because sometimes I don't need this huge thing and it's really massive to store. <laughs> so uh, it just, it's not, I, I would use the smaller one more, I think, but um, while I have this one, it works. So number five on my favorites list are sticky notes. And I have such a huge variety of sticky notes that let me grab... I keep them in this little um, basket organizer thing. I don't know what you'd call this, um, but you can kind of see all the different sizes. I just have some that are post-it notes. I've got the just smaller ones there. Then I have all the cute fancy ones too. So um, I love sticky notes. I use them all the time. And um, I like that I can write on them and move them from my everyday planner into um, like my on the go planner that goes in my purse with me. Um, so I love, love sticky notes. So tabs I've been using a lot. Um, I 
recently kind of figured out a system that works for me and um, I really I really am enjoying it let me grab my planner here and I'll kind of show you my tabs that I have so I have several of them and I don't write on them um, I just kind of know what they stand for because I use different tabs for different things um, the other thing here, let me grab this folder out of here. Okay, so you can kind of see the different ones that I use in there, and they all stand for something different. And I know what they, I know what they're referencing. Um, and then, yeah, it's just kind of handy to be able to have those tabs. So I made these. These are the page markers here. So I have those that I made. So those are the different kinds of tabs I use in my actual planner. Um, these little, uh, these are gum cases. They're extra brand gum. And then I just um, keep them and use them to store my tabs and my labels. And then also um, maybe some little die cuts or things that are too small to fit anywhere else. I don't want them to get lost. So I will show you my favorite tabs currently got these post-it ones and then I have got a whole slew of Avery tabs these are all repositionable get all these set out here so you can kind of see the different sizes colors um, yeah and then these are also oh, upside down these are also the post-it brand so the difference in these two these are thicker so you can kind of hear the thickness. This is more like a really thick vellum. This is a thinner vellum, more like, um, you know, page flags and things like that. This is a really thin material. So um, I do use them. I use them both just differently, if that makes sense. So, um, and then I have, yeah, all the colors, <laughs> all the colors of Avery tabs. And I love all of these because they are all repositionable. Um, and one of the things that I learned from Dakshana, and I will tag her, I'll tag her um, Instagram and her YouTube channel below. So she shared in one of her videos, she has a tabs, how she uses her tabs video. I'll link that one in the cards too. So if you want to check it out, it's really handy. So you can see how she uses her uh, tabs in her planner. So here is this little guy here, I mean, can't really see it. Okay, so here's this bow tab here. These are from Planner Press. And what Dakshana did was she took uh, one of these, or you could use these as well. And you could actually use these too. These would work, this um, different, the uh, Avery brand. Uh, and then she just snipped off the colored part and then applied the bow tab to um, that sticky part. And then they're repositionable, so you can put them wherever you want. So these are the ones that I have here from Planner Press. I've got the small black ones and then the bigger hollow ones. So you can see those there. And um, the bigger ones do come with these labels uh, attached there. They're kind of hard to kind of hard to read. The font is really small. So see those there. So those are my tabs that I use uh, pretty much on a daily basis. And I love this idea of putting the bow tabs on repositionable because, you know, if you put these, these bow tabs on your planner pages, they're going to be permanent. So uh, this way it allows you to get more use out of them. And I really, really love that. So that is my tab collection. <laughs> it's quite large, I have a lot of tabs, but I like to be able to use different colors for different things um, and just be able to you know, change them around or do what I need to do with them and then not worry about um, you know, getting confused with what each one stands for. So then in this little case here, I have all of these um, labels from 
the Planner Society that I've received in uh, Happy Mail from people that have sent them to me. And so that's really, really handy because if I want to put a label on them, I do have a label maker, a uh, brother brand label maker, uh, which is really handy, but these are kind of fun because of the different colors and things like that. So um, if I want to do a little bit fancier, <laughs> I'll grab one of these uh, labels here and use those. So, and then I do have some that came with some other tabs that I had, which I cannot find anymore. So I don't know where those went to. <laughs> um, then I have this one from Sunshine Sticker Co. It's the monthly tabs. And these from, oops, upside down, sorry. Shine Sticker Studio. I love these and I have these in my current planner now and I have them in my Stology that I'll be starting in September. So I always try to get uh, extras of these because I never know when I'm gonna need them. So you can see that I've used <laughs> two sheets of those already and then I bought an extra just to have on hand. So those are all my tabs that I use in my planner. Um, and like I said, I love to have the variety. It's really uh, handy and I don't have to, if I need to put a tab somewhere, I know that I have this nice variety so that I don't have to wait, especially with these monthly tabs. If I want to put a monthly tab on or, you know, make a new, do a new plan or setup, I have some on hand that I can use. So without having to order them and wait. So that is my tab collection. Okay. The next thing I want to talk about are these, these all the, oh my goodness, they are all Eclipse and they are magnetic, super strong magnets, like the strongest magnets you'll ever find in your life. You don't want to get them too close because they'll go <laughs> and suck together. Uh, these are some of my favorite ones that I have currently. Um, in addition to this one that I have on my planner now, it's a black jelly, star jelly. I love it so much. It's my favorite. That one's my favorite one probably. Um, okay, so this is the large size. She also has a small size, which I have here on my studio headphones. Whoopsie, on my studio headphones there. And then I just use it to clip inside my bag so I don't lose it and um, on the little key fob inside my bag. Then I don't lose it inside my purse because <laughs> it will go to the bottom. I have like a tote that I carry and um, I'll be digging for it forever, so. Um, there you go. So that's the smaller size. So you can kind of see the reference there of the, oops, the different sizes that they have. Then they also have a jumbo size, which I do not have any of those. They are huge. Um, so I do not have any of those, but these are so great. I use these, like I said, on my headphones, on my planners to mark pages. I will also use them to hold my cord, my phone cord, the charger cord for my phone and my computer as well. And then my desk is metal. So then I will just put the cord through there and then just attach it to the metal side of metal, like leg of my desk. And then it doesn't fall on the floor. Next thing on my planner favorites is a uh, tape runner. So these are really handy. I use this one here, this AdTech brand. It is permanent. So uh, if I wanna attach something uh, like a calendar or whatever to my planner, pages, I can do that. I just use these. Um, I will also use this glue stick here. Um, and I just get these at Walmart. Comes in a box of four, I think for like six or seven dollars. So it's really inexpensive and nice to have on hand. Next thing kind of along the same lines here is a correction tape. This is the Mono, the Tombow Mono brand. And I love this versus um, I think Whiteout is the other brand that has one of these kind of runners and I've tried that and I can never get it to um, apply evenly and it's just super annoying. So I love these. I used to use um, like a gel, a white gel pen to cover up any mistakes, but it doesn't, it's not flat and it could be kind of goopy. So when you went to write over it, it was uneven and just kind of blotchy. So uh, this is great. It goes on flat and um, it really does last a while. I've had this one for quite a while. So um, yeah, they're really nice to have. And um, I don't really notice, even on the Hobonichi paper, which is the Tamoy River paper, um, which is kind of a more yellowish 
tone, if I need to use this, I don't necessarily notice it. It's weird. Uh, once you write over it or uh, anything like that, it's um, you don't really notice it. So it's really it's really nice. The other thing I use it for in my planner, let me grab. So this is the next week here. Um, I'll use it to cover up. Like if I'm gonna put washi at the top here, um, on top of the days of the week, I will use this the whiteout to cover up these blocks because sometimes I'll show through the washi. So um, it's really, really nice to be able to cover those and then not see them through the washi. So another Tombow item <laughs> that I love is the uh, mono plastic eraser. These things are amazing. And if, oh, you guys, seriously, they will erase anything. You know how sometimes you'll write in pencil and you'll use the eraser and it won't erase it all the way? It's so frustrating. Um, these these things are amazing. I have them everywhere. I have, like if I, when I get, I actually haven't used one all the way down yet. Um, I have like six of them. I have one in my little um, pen pouch. I have one in my bigger pen case. I have one in my purse, um, one in my little tray over there that has all my paper clips and stuff in it. They're literally everywhere because I use them so much and I never, I never wanna have to go searching for them. So I keep them everywhere, kind of like chapstick. <laughs> so I also have those everywhere. Um, so this is, yeah, definitely my favorite eraser, hands down. It does not rip paper, it doesn't smear um, it, the little pieces of eraser when you erase something, you just swish it off and it's, yeah, it's, it's so clean just really clean. So I love that. All right. The next thing on my favorites list is the slice tool. And you'll see me use these, uh, use this a lot in my plan with me videos. It's just slice is the brand and it has this little end here. It's very similar to an X-Acto knife. So you can see that little sharp blade there. And I believe that you can replace these when they get dull. I have had this for a year and a half and it's still it's still very sharp. So um, I prefer this over the uh, X-Acto knife just because the blade is smaller and I feel like I can control it a little bit better, uh, but that's just personal preference. So, but I love these to cut stickers, to cut uh, washi. I use it in a whole, a whole bunch of ways. Um, all right. The next thing on my favorites list are washi cards. Now these can be used to, this brand is a, this is a Simply Gilded one that came in a sub box. Um, and then I just have washi on it and you can use them that way. That's what they're intended for. Um, but I also use them when I'm planning to tear washi. So when I put washi down and I tear the edge, I just put this on the top of the washi and just rip the washi. Then it gives you that nice clean edge. So that's typically what I use them for. Um, and this one is the Coffee Monsters Co. brand. I'm not sure if you can see that there. And then this one's a Simply Gilded and it's, <clears throat> excuse me, it's a little bit longer. Um, so you can put more washi on it. And the cute thing is with these two, that if you wanted to put them into a pocket just for decoration, you could do that too, obviously. <laughs> swims in here because this is a huge planner but you can just see those little guys kind of popping out there so that's super cute um i know a lot of people use them like that as well so and if you put your washi in them then you can just pop it in the pocket like that and have it handy when you need it so the last thing that i wanted to talk about is um a ruler so this one is the hobonichi brand and then this one's just one that I picked up at Walmart. And this one is obviously longer. It has this little handle thing here that you can, um, it's really handy to kind of hang on to when you're drawing or uh, like especially straight lines. And you can just kind of hold it still, draw your lines there. Um, so that one's nice. This one I keep in my pen pouch and it's just the right size for those smaller things that you need. Um, it does have the measurements, oops, sorry. It does have the measurements there on the ends. It's in uh, centimeters and millimeters. So you just kind of convert it and it's fine. And then it has all these little stencils in the inside as well. So those are kind of handy. 
Okay, so the last thing that I wanted to show you is washi. This is the last thing on my uh, favorites list. I use washi a lot. Uh, here's one of the drawers in my collection. Here's the second drawer. And I did think, I thought about going um, through my washi collection in a separate video. If that's something that you'd be interested in, let me know. Um, I can show you how I store it and also kind of go through the different ones that I have. And here's the third drawer. So uh, it's a three drawer container that I got from Michael's. And I do keep my washi collection um, strictly within this organizer. If it gets full, then I'll do a de-stash and sell some or send some in Happy Mail. But I try to keep it within that organizer just because I don't want it to get out of control. So washi, that's the last thing on my planner favorites list. Okay, so let's go ahead and get to the giveaway and what you'll receive. Uh, the first thing that you'll be receiving is this Exceed journal and it is a dot grid. It's a 78 GSM weight paper and has the nice little uh, elastic uh, closure there on it and it's in a black color. So that is what you'll be getting as your first. I thought the um, I would include a journal slash planner <laughs> in the giveaway uh, just because, yeah, it's a planner giveaway. <laughs> so anyway, that's the first thing you'll be getting. All right. The next thing is this washi tape dispenser with uh, five different washi tapes in it. And uh, I thought that was really cute. The dispenser you can set on your desk as like a decorative thing, and then you can also use the washi. So I thought that was really, really cute. And the washies are really pretty. I'm gonna give you an up close there. Really nice for fall. Okay, and then the next thing you'll be getting is a washi card from the Coffee Monsters Co. Kind of give it a second to focus there. Getting this package of sticky notes from Villa Beautiful. It's a little Tiffy there with her planner. And you'll be getting this stack of stickers here from a lot of my favorite shops. This is uh, Hobonichi stickers, they're uh, the transparent dots. Then there's some from Shine Sticker Studio. We've got Coffee Monsters Co some from uh, Planet Fabulously on Etsy, Mandolin Plans on Etsy also. Got Freckled Sticker Co, Fox and Pip, Villa Beautiful, Blue Coffee Bear, and Sweet Kawaii Design. So you'll be getting that whole package of stickers. And then the next thing you'll be getting, kind of put these two together here, you'll be getting a glue stick and one of the tape runners. There you go. getting one of these Tombow correction tapes. A Tombow eraser, brand new in the package. This Sharpie S-Gel in the 0.7. And this Villa Beautiful pen, it's in a really pretty pale pink uh, matte paint with rose gold hardware. And then that will come with a refill, an ink refill as well. And you'll be getting this uh, Ollie clip here, and this is the Buffalo plaid. Let me grab mine so I can show you what it looks like because this one is uh, still in the package there, so. Okay, so here is what this one looks like. So it's pink on the bottom, goes kind of into a purplish blue ombre. There you go, so you'll be getting one of those. And then you'll be getting this magnetic page flag here. It has some uh, gold foiling on it, little bees on it, super cute. There you go. Then you'll be getting this thing of Avery tabs. Um, I really love these holographic kind of prism ones here. These are kind of my new favorite, so you'll be getting those as well. Okay, so all you need to do to enter is to comment below with your favorite planner accessories. 
So um, I think it's really interesting to hear kind of what everybody likes to use. So I thought that would be fun to, to read everybody's responses and we can all help each other out finding some new planner accessories. So that's all you need to do to enter the giveaway. If you would like, you can earn two bonus entries. Uh, the first way to do that is to follow me on Instagram and I will have the link for that below. And then come back here and comment with your IG handle so that I can make sure to count you as um, having that extra bonus entry. And then the other way to get another bonus entry is to share it on your Instagram. You can do it on your stories or you can make a post, uh, however you wanna do it uh, to share this giveaway and then make sure to just tag me in it so that I can see it. So, and that is all you need to do guys. Um, as always, I appreciate you watching. I appreciate you being here. Everyone that's subscribed to my channel, thank you so much. You have no idea how much I appreciate it. Um, yeah, so thanks for being here. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you later. Bye.